Review of A24's Civil War. Civil War is the most expensive movie produced by A24 Studios, and it is spectacular. As you may have seen recommended previously, you should see this movie in IMAX or SDS sound. Every machine gun battle, every explosion, deserves the full experience. And this is, in fact, a clue that this is not a partisan hit job designed to attack people of one political bent or another. Instead, the movie offers up questions rather than dogma or lecturing, as is so often the case with Hollywood dramas. In this movie, we follow a quartet of wartime photographers as they explore ravaged modern America. Perhaps it's 20 years in the future, perhaps 30 years, but it depicts a possible future in America should different factions decide to splinter and separate. This is an excellent cinematic masterpiece. I expect the cinematographer to win. Daddy, good night. All right, good night, Bella. Daddy, read me book. A few minutes later. While Civil War won't clean up at the Oscars, I believe it will win for Best Cinematography. The movie looks beautiful. You really feel like you are in a modern war zone around the big cities and in rural areas. This movie comes at a time in American history where people wonder, could there be another Civil War? The acting is spot on, the music is superb, and you really feel as if this is a high-quality production. Initial misgivings from the trailer didn't materialize. This is a movie for all Americans, and it raises interesting questions about where we're heading as a nation. The movie is almost two hours long, and yet you feel like you wish you could explore more of this future America. The most famous scene from the movie, or at least the trailer, is of this bizarre gunman wearing children's sunglasses and with bloody knuckles, asking our intrepid photographers what kind of Americans are they. The actor that was supposed to play this role was not available, so Kirsten Dunst called up her husband, who was watching the children, and said, can you play this brief role? And it turns out to be one of the most memorable and chilling roles in the movie. See Civil War for the action. See it for the scenery and the chilling possibility of a future yet to come for America. But don't see this movie expecting it to lecture you to vote for Joe Biden and not to vote for Donald Trump. It is not that kind of movie. I'm not sure what kind of movie it is, but I know that I enjoyed it very much and I can easily recommend it. Thank you.